Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows an encephalocele and soft tissue edema in fetus. You can see the uterus. This is urinary bladder. This is the uterus. And this is the placenta. An encephalocele is a rare disorder in which bones of the skull do not close completely. This creates a gap through which the cerebral spinal fluid, brain tissue and the meninges can protrude into a sac-like formation. An, in, in, an encephalocele forms when the neural tube do not close properly during gestation. A neural tube is a narrow channel that folds close and closes to form the brain and spinal cord. The exact cause, however, is unknown. It usually occurs among families with the history of spina bifida and an encephaly. You can see the fetus and this is the soft tissue edema on the fetal skull bone. Ultrasound images of fetus can reveal the presence of herniated fluid filled sac outside the skull. Encephalocele that go undetected during gestation usually are diagnosed at birth by observation of the deformity. Now you can see the soft tissue edema on the fetal abdomen and a large encephalocele is also seen in the hind portion in the occipital portion of the fetal skull. This is the encephalocele. Again, this is the encephalocele and this is the occipital encephalocele attached to the occipital portion of the fetal skull bone. Again, you can see the fetus, fetal cardiac activity is visible. The soft tissue edema is also seen on the fetal abdomen. Now this is the soft tissue edema on the fetal abdominal, fetal abdomen. Ultrasound images of the fetus can reveal the presence of herniated fluid filled sac outside the skull. Encephalocele are detected sometimes during the routine prenatal ultrasound as at as early as 13 weeks gestation. If an encephalocele is suspected on an ultrasound, a fetal MRI can provide all the details necessary to confirm the diagnosis. Now you can see the large encephalocele. The fetal spines are seen. This is the fetal cardiac activity. Now, symptoms of the encephalocele include neurological problems hydrocephalus, cerebrospinal fluid accumulation in the brain, spastic quadriplegia, paralysis of the limbs, microcephaly, an abnormally small head, ataxia, uncoordinated muscle movement, developmental delay, vision problems, mental and growth retardation. Now you can see the um, placenta and 
this is defibrillant this is the knee of the fetus and this is the foot you can see the lower limbs of the fetus now this is a better view of the fetal soft tissue edema of the fetal abdomen in seals are usually dramatic deformities diagnosed immediately after birth but occasionally a small encephalocele in the nasal and forehead region can go undetected there is a genetic component to the condition it often occurs in families with the history of spina bifida and anencephaly in other family members. Babies with a frontal encephalocele, no associated syndrome or defect and no brain tissue herniating into the sac have a good chance of survival. Babies when with an encephalocele at the back of the head have a 55% survival rate. Now the prognosis, as far as the prognosis is concerned, there is no cure or standard treatment for anencephaly and the prognosis for patient is a fetal demise. Most anencephalic fetus do not survive at birth, counting for 55% of non-aborted cases. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.